Fran and I love a uh, will they, won't they Mm storyline. And I think that was very present in this show. And like I said, I don't want to give any anything away. And this might be a weird question. But was this the first time that you filmed like um, a scene that was like very romantic, steamy? Yeah, I actually filmed So Fear Street, the movies that I'm doing and they come out on they start coming out on Friday on July 2nd. I filmed those first oh, and there's okay. like a well, there's romance in those movies. Yeah. Like release dates I've learned. I'm like, re- there, you know what I mean? The release dates are nothing, <laughs> if anything, but yeah. So I filmed those movies first. Um, and it was really great. Cause I think it was like both of our first like intimate scene. And so it was like very, very closed, closed set. And there were only like five people there in all in total. Um, and so it was really nice because then there were a few in those in that trilogy. And then like when I got to panic, I was like, oh, I know this song and dance. Yeah. Then you I felt a little more comfortable because I feel like you never know. Everyone has a different opinion on how awkward it really is because movie magic, yeah. it makes it look so romantic. But on yeah. set, it yeah. must be like not that romantic. <laughs> no, because the day the the first my first big intimate scene, it was like below freezing and we were both like wet and so both of us would like do the scene and then they would be like okay now run and we'd like run inside like no shoes on and then we'd just stand inside being like that was a pretty good t- do you feel good about that take like i i feel good about that take. do you think we should do anything different and then they'd be like now walk out and we'd be like okay and you'd be like and you just like bite your tongue and like go through the scene and be like i hope they can't tell that we're so cold <laughs> And then there's so many people around too. Yeah. And it's so like, qu- seems so quiet and stuff. But the flip of it is like so many people being like, can we get a little, can you guys kiss a little louder so yeah. I can get it on the boot? A little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. <laughs> left, a little bit to the right. Yeah. As super, a, as a, so as a fan of the show, like if you were, you know, obviously if you're looking from the outside, would you yeah. have rooted for Heather to be with Ray or for Heather to be with Bishop? Uh, I think with, I think with Ray, because they do like understand each other more. You yeah. know what I mean? They're yeah, from, that was like, our pick as well. <laughs> I also, like, yeah, I was like, you know, Bishop and Heather, they've got like this, this very deep friendship. And I'm like, you know, sometimes you should just stay that way. Definitely. Just stay that way. I mean, I watched with yeah. my parents, and even I, I, we, <laughs> the three of us were like, "Oh, what is she doing? She's got to be with, she's got to be." With. I, I oh, couldn't man. even believe. I say this about every show. I'm like, "Yeah, I watched with my parents yep. because they love all these like, shows." Yeah, I watched with my parents. They and they loved it, but we're super excited for the the Fear Street movies. Can you kind of explain to us? The setup, because at first, I'm not going to lie, I was a little confused. I was like, wait, there's three of them, but they're coming out very close to each other and they move backwards in time, which I think is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So it's basically like the first one is the 90s and it's 1994 and it's my group of friends and myself. And we are like trying to solve the mystery behind this curse that's kind of plagued the town. And um, so, yeah, so like that's the first one. And then the second one, we like get some advice from someone else who's Gillian Jacobs, the actress who's lovely and wonderful. And she's like, let me tell you about when this happened to me. And so then it kind of does like a, a very long movie length flashback to 1978 when like she was a teenager and was at camp um, like with her sister and the things that happened to them. And then the last movie is the 1600s and it's like the root of the curse. And so it's like you kind of get the pieces in reverse and you like as you go back in time, you like learn and put more of the puzzle together. That is super cool cool. because I feel like it's a different concept that Netflix is used to doing, especially because you usually get a series. But I think horror horror movies, too, I just feel like always go in chronological order. So to go backwards. Yeah. Yeah, it was super cool. And like reading the scripts. For the first time, I remember being like, oh, this makes so much sense. You know what I mean? And it's fun because you are going back in time. But like because you have the context of the future, things like make more sense to you when you see happen in the past. And how shortly are they released after each other now going forward? 
every Friday. So the first one comes out this Friday on the second. And then the the second movie is the ninth. And then the last movie is the 16th. So they come out every Friday of July. That so is perfect. Cool. People are going to love that because you it's like you're yeah, just getting three I'm, movies all I, bang, bang, bang. And the way limited series work yeah. now, it's like some sometimes you watch limited series it's seven episodes anyway so exactly so it's you yeah. you get three basically full movies um which is awesome and this is you know total horror total gore that kind of vibe did you are you a fan yeah. of that genre or were you kind of like oh i don't know about this i was a huge fan i was okay. like so excited to do them and then um i've been like a lifelong horror movie fan and so it was so funny because, yeah, some days there would be like really gory stuff and everyone would be like, ah, and I'd be like, yes, like, <laughs> let's do this. this. This is movie making right here in front of our faces. And I'm ready. I'm ready to embrace the goriness of these movies. So you're the kind of girl that was like, you, you'd be like, you already have, you know, if you were in a, if yourself in a slasher movie, like how you would die, you've, you've already thought of all those things. <laughs> I know someone asked us this the other day. They're like, how would you, what's your like ideal death in a horror movie? I was like, well, I didn't think about this, but I think I could probably come up with something pretty fun. You'd rather just you be know? the last one standing. You're the one who makes it. Yeah, in the exactly. <laughs> I'm like, don't you, doesn't everybody want to be the final yeah. girl? You, know what I mean? exactly. you want to be the last one standing, but also cool getting to death. play the part. Yeah. I'm saying like getting to play the role yeah. of like, and getting to act out a, like ridiculous death has got to be, you know, what's yeah. a great one, like a, sh like a, a shark eating you. Oh no, that's just oh. so not what I would have picked. But filming you know, wise, I don't yeah. think about that at all. <laughs> yeah, but filming wise would be pretty cool. Yeah, you can admit Maybe. that. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, there's like a really crazy death in one of them, and the person, no spoilers, the 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 person who did it, who got to die, was very excited, yeah. and it was very fun to film and like see them film that death. Yeah, it's pretty but especially for the people who, you know, may not be in the movie for that long. It's like you may not have that much screen time, but you go out in it in a killer way. Yeah, <laughs> a sick really death. Yeah. death. Really just a great way yeah. to look at it. Exactly. Um, yeah. what, what is your dream role going forward? That's such a good question. I feel like I never I've like really thought about this because I was like, I know I'll get asked this in interviews, but I really have no idea i feel like i'm always really surprised when i get auditions as to like what the roles are that i like so to me i'm kind of like i'll know it when i see it you know what i mean yeah i would love to be in like a tim burton movie i'm like that's I'm, you so know what i mean a, I'm like, a little I freaky i like that i feel like you're you know it's like you love the horror tim burton tim burton movie scare yeah. the shit out of me yeah. so <laughs> it's like, yeah. i love it it's that's like, very, very cool it's great <laughs> 